The next case is a 19-year-old male, and he lost the posterior horn of his meniscus, and I found it in the posterior notch. So this fragment was pulled down, and you can see how it's lost its normal shape, and it would be really easy to remove this meniscus, but he's 19, and this would have been a significant meniscectomy to remove this portion. So because it doesn't have an apex anymore, I went ahead and did hay bale stitches, which is where the suture is placed behind the meniscus remnant and then tied in the front. And I relied on the fact that he's 19 to remodel this meniscus into a functional shape. And in the absence of arthritic change, there are enough nutrients in the synovial fluid to allow this meniscus to not just heal, but also to be remolded by the femur and the tibia. So four months later, a vision scope needle arthroscopy was performed, and starting in the notch where the meniscus used to be, I'll swing back down into the joint, and I can use something called a saline probe to flash the meniscus with saline and watch it move, and that helps confirm that the tissue is viable and intact, and amazingly, it's reformed to central edge, and it looks great. I must have dragged down a little bit of fat with my knot, and that's why that suture hasn't fully synovialized, but there's no surrounding chondral damage.